What is up YouTube? It is your boy Primzies back with another video here today. We got an updated Black Ops 6 settings video for controller slash console. Here, take a look at my new PS5 Edge controller. She's a beauty. Once again, we're going to keep this plain and simple. Boom, we're on PS5. Let me show you the menu. Black Ops 6. As you just saw, my PS5 Edge controller. And boom. We're going to jump right into controller settings. Of course, the input is controller. Uh, we're going to leave this default. We're going to leave the stick layout default. You want to be playing around five to seven cents. If you play on a little bit lower sense, you might want to play on five. I like the middle ground. I play on six, six, and I've been playing on six, six for a while now. Uh, if you like a little bit faster sense, I would go seven, seven. I wouldn't go above that though. I'm going to keep mine at six, six. Boom. Off, 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 off. Controller vibration, definitely off. And trigger effect off now dead zone inputs is what you want to copy to the exact t that i'm about to show you okay boom left stick min one left stick max 75 right stick min five right stick max 97 l2 button dead zone zero r2 button dead zone zero okay if you're on console or pc just on a controller you are going to be using these dead zones for Black Ops 6. For Call of Duty, you are going to be using these exact dead zones if you're on controller. Moving forward, we're going to switch over to aiming. Boom. We're going to come over here. Sensitivity multiplier. I like to leave mine at 1. You can play around with these, but I would just leave it at 1. This is default. Everything is on 1. Boom. Move over. We're going to leave this on standard. Uh, aiming advanced settings. You're going to want to go into this. Uh, this is all default. Leave it standard. ADS sensitivity transition timing i have it on gradual we have this on assist and then most important secret secret sauce setting right here aim response curve of course you want it dynamic if you're not using dynamic you are moving slower and you're basically lost now the secret sauce the aim response curve slope it's usually on 100 by default you want to drop this down to 80 just drop this down to 80 thank me later just thank me later. Uh, I have this off because I have all my ADS sensitivities on one, like we said earlier. Boom. Target aim assist. Come on. You, you want aim assist. That's on. Motion. Uh, all these motion settings in here, especially, they're all off or on default, okay? I would just leave these on default. You're not going to be using motion sensor or like any of this. So I just have this off. Next, we got movement. Right at the top, you see sprint assist. You want you want to make sure this is on tactical sprint assist, not off, not on. Tactical sprint assist. Make sure your sprint dis, sprint assist delay is on zero. Make sure both of these are on your uh, sprint assist sideways and your sprint assist backwards. Make sure both these are on. Boom. Moving on. Mantle assist off. Crouch assist off. Corner slice. You want to keep on. Slide and dive behavior. If you want to dive and slide, I would suggest hybrid. And that's what we're going to do in BO6 because you're sliding and diving. We're going to keep it on hybrid. Auto door peak, off. Sprint restore, on. Slide maintain sprint, on. This is for Warzone. I'll leave it on free fall. You can choose as you please. This one really doesn't matter in multiplayer. Uh, mantle cancels reload. I have that off. Right here, movement advanced settings. Just copy these. I'm pretty sure these are on default. The only things you want to probably turn off is grounded mantle. Off. Auto move forward. Off. Toggle. Single tap sprint. Trigger. On. Sprinting door bash. On. And then vehicle settings. I'm pretty sure I have these all on default. We'll leave it like this. Moving on to the last thing under controller, which is combat. I'm pretty sure I have most of these on default, but just copy them exactly. I'll give you a second to look through it and just copy it. Pause the video. We're going to go into combat advanced settings. You can copy these too. Make sure you low key copy these. I'm pretty sure I changed a few of these. Like let sprint cancels reload. I'm pretty sure on default this is on. I have this off. Same with this. This is tap to reload. I have, I change it to prior, prioritize reload. Just copy these to the exact T. Boom. And then the last thing, overlay advanced settings. Pretty sure these are all on default. Just leave them how it is. Now that we're finished with controller, let's move on to graphics. 
I'm gonna show you guys my graphic settings real quick. If you have this off, just check if your monitor can run 120 hertz with your console and just turn this on on Xbox or PlayStation. Trust me, you want this on. My monitor runs 144 hertz, so I can use the 120 hertz refresh rate. Boom, we have this on. You want this off, you want your PS5 working overtime or your console working overtime. Quality, some of these are gonna be on. Make sure you turn these off. World motion blur off, weapon blur off. Depth of field, low key. That's blur, no, off, okay, off. And then right here, you want this on and you want it at 50% strength. I know a lot of people like doing 100. I like to keep it at 50. I think 50 works. Just do 50. Trust me. The source, trust me. And down here, on-demand texture streaming, you want this on minimal. You want your uh, console working towards performance and not and not the, the quality. And lastly, let's move on to view. Uh, we want this off because this is preset settings. You don't want to turn this on. We want custom ones. FOV, this is a big one. Honestly, the pros, they play between 95 and 105 they don't go they don't go above especially they don't go higher than 105 because you like you start losing aim assist a little bit but i like to play in the middle ground which is 100 i've been on 100 if you want a little bit lower you can go 95 you can go 96 you can go 97 whatever you prefer honestly you can play around with this you can go anywhere between 95 and 105 i'm gonna keep mine at 100 right in the middle this setting down here, ADS field of view. You want this unaffected, not independent. Please put this unaffected, okay? And weapon field of view, we want this on wide. We have this on max, third person field of view. You're never really gonna use this, whatever, max. We'll put it at 90. We have this on default. Right down here, first person camera movement. This is, your screen is shaking. On default, it's at 100. You wanna put this at 50%, the least. You want your screen shaking the, the least amount while you're in the middle of a war zone, okay? And we're gonna put this at least as well. First person and inverted flashbang off. Uh, you can turn this on if you wanna just see a black screen. Sometimes when I get, if I have this on and I get flashed and I see a black screen, I'm just like, the game's over. I think like the game's over. So I'm gonna leave it on default. We've been playing with this for 15 years. I've been getting flashbanged for 15 years. Let's uh, Let's cut that out. Inverted flashbang, I have it off. You can turn this on if you want to see a black screen instead of the white screen. I just have it off. And I'll show you my audio settings real quick too. I have it on headphones. I'm pretty sure this is the loudest you can hear it. I've seen some people talk about Sucker Punch. Home theater isn't bad. Uh, headphone bass boosted is just, it's just way more bass. You, you, you don't need this one. I would either go with headphones, home theater, and I'm still kind of experimenting with Sucker Punch. I haven't heard much about it, but I'd go with one of these three. Uh, you want this off, off. This really doesn't matter. The main thing we're looking at is master game volume. When I'm actually playing it like a competitive match, I have it at like 90 to 100. If I'm playing pubs or something and I'm chilling, I'll literally, I'll drop this like under 30. I'll do like 18, 20 or like, you know what I mean? I won't keep this high. I don't want, I don't want my ears destroyed if we're just playing pubs. Uh, you want this to zero. You want dialogue volume to zero. Like effects volume, you want to keep it 100. This is basically everything. Every noise that you hear on the map is is under effects. Keep this at 100. Cinematic music volume, zero. And that's about it. Chat, you can you can play around with this. I don't really care about this. I don't really talk in game too much. And yeah, that's going to do it. Those are the console settings. Updated Black Ops 6 settings for controller. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate anyone that pops in. Leaves a like on the video type shit. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I want to let you guys know I will be uploading a Black Ops 6 video every single day in November. Starting November 1st to November 30th. So tune in, subscribe, and uh, stick around for more content. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, see you in the next one. Adoshish. Peace.